Today we are putting together bags of food to distribute to the community. We're providing food for the seniors and those who are in need. We have for many years distributed food on Thursdays, but the need has basically exploded with the coronavirus and we are getting calls nonstop. We're, we're seeing a lot, quite a few more people coming out compared to what we usually do weekly. Council Member Gil Cedillo's office has partnered with us to provide hams for families. We're going to be expanding to two days a week of food distribution thanks to their help, um, including prepared meals. So those will be delivered to seniors thanks to Council Member Gil Cedillo's office. This club was given to the community. It dates back to 1950. The Chandler family, the LA Times, uh, dedicated this facility to the Lincoln Heights community. And uh, it's been a blessing and it's as it was and it still is. We're putting all the safety precautions in place with the distancing. We have tape marking the ground every eight feet to give a little more than the six feet distance. Um, we have doubled up tables so that the staff and volunteers have enough distance between the people who are receiving the food spraying and disinfecting the clipboards for people to write their information on. We have disposable little mini pencils and um, we're giving appointment, we're making appointment times to slow the flow of the lines. So we're trying to think of all the possible ways that we can ensure people's safety. We have a website and a, a charity page set up for people to donate. It's uh, www.labgc.org slash donate. After we are all past this current situation, we're looking forward to uh, having all the families come and be a part of the Boys and Girls Club. <laughs>